In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the solution to the challenge which was set in the last task. I asked you to create an area calculator and then we specified that the user was going to enter the length and the width. Okay, This was going to be an area calculator for a room, a rectangle or a square. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the values from the user. So I'm going to set my variable or call my variable L for length. You can call it length. Then use the input function. Open my brackets and open my speech marks. Then give some sort of an instruction, a question, something to prompt the user to enter the length. So I'm going to just write enter length. We also need the width, so exactly the same again. Input, open my brackets, and enter, enter width. I'm going to work out the area, so I'm going to call it A for area, equals length, which I called L, times, and W. Then I'm going to print A. In the last tutorial, I mentioned that whenever we use the input function, it returns the value as a string, and it's not possible to do maths with a string, which is what we're trying to do here. So what we must do is convert the value L into an integer. And the way we do that is simply by saying L equals and using the int function and entering a string inside which was L and it would return or change the string version of the length into an integer version of length so that we can do some maths with it. The exact same steps needed to be followed for width. Now this should allow us to change the strings into the integer and also print off the area. I'm going to press play, I'm going to enter the length which is let's make it 10, enter the width let's make that 5 and the area is 50. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.